Here are some tips and tricks on how to install your new tilt turn window. And remember, please download our installation manual at our website. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the window upright. The weep holes are on the outside on the bottom of the window. Most folks install our window using these mounting cleats. Now they just simply twist right into the outside of the frame and then you use a screw to secure the cleat to the frame. You space the cleat every six inches from the corner and then no more than 24 inches thereafter. Now we bend the cleats in, and the reason why we do this is because when we bend it back towards the structure, it makes a nice Z shape. And this allows us to directly secure the cleat to the structure. Please do not shim directly beneath the cleat because if the shim moves or if it gets compressed, uh, that will compromise the installation and the function of the window. To shim your window, Place stackable shims under the vertical jams to support the weight of the glass. On an operable window, place the shims on the jam four inches from the bottom of the window on the hinge side, and then four inches from the top of the window on the handle side. This configuration will keep the frame from shifting sideways. Before fastening the anchors to your rough opening, make sure the frame is plumb, level, and square, even if the wall isn't. Do not fasten the anchors in sequence. Instead, start by loosely fastening the corners. Then fasten the anchors at the midpoint of the frame and at the mullions. Finally, fasten the intermediate anchors, alternating between the sides and the top and the bottom. This will lessen any chance of deforming or shifting the frame out of position. Now test the operation. If your window is not opening smoothly, then make sure the window is plumb, level, and square. If the hardware is binding, that's because the frame was twisted when the fasteners were secured. Back off the fasteners a little bit and follow the procedure we discussed earlier. Make sure the operation of your tilt turn is fully functional before you seal it and trim it out. Now, depending on your wall thickness, you may need the whole cleat or you may just need a portion of it like we did here. And you can bend them over or what's even better, you can cut them. But do cut them before you install the window because if you use a grinder while the window is installed, there's a chance that uh, any burrs coming off during the, the grinding process could damage the window. Following these tips will help you enjoy your tilt turn for years to come. <laughs>